called the snowflake disease. It affects everyone differently. I suddenly noticed that I was a little bit, a little bit weaker. Uh, I couldn't stand on things and, without falling off. I just kept going to doctor after doctor trying to figure out what was wrong with me. And they kept saying there's nothing wrong. Did blood tests, cardio, everything. I can see myself deteriorating. I can see my mind deteriorating. I just watch it go. I watch it not remember words that I used to know. My wife died in 015 from cancer. And I went to hospice. And they had this whole show on what can happen to you during grief. That's what I thought it was at first. Rob and I were more afraid that it was a stroke or MS or um, a brain tumor. So when they said it's Parkinson's, we were really excited because we thought there's something we could do about it. My name is Jordan Brannon. I am the head coach and founder of Rock City Boxing Tampa Bay area. Rock City Boxing is a unique exercise program specifically for people with Parkinson's disease. So there is the idea of high intensity exercise. That is the main ingredient in Rock Steady. High intensity exercise is regenerating the neurons and it's halting the symptoms and the disease in its tracks and it's even proven to reverse symptoms. My Rocksteady boxing name is T-Bird and that's actually short form, short for uh, Thunder, Thunderbird. While I was diagnosed with uh, Parkinson's disease in 2008, and I noticed that uh, my posture, I started to lean to the left, uh, slightly then, long way now. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's, those were the symptoms that led me to believe you know, something's really wrong when your hand's going like this. My boxing name is Hurricane. Uh, that's a, that's a, a, a given name. The, the folks gave it to me because when I started here, I had a lot of energy. Uh, They've, they've kind of worn it out of me, but I, I had a lot of energy. And, uh, and then Hurricane Matthew came through, and so it was a no-brainer. My boxing name is The Quilter. The earliest I can remember is um, probably six years ago when we moved here to Florida. I remember laying on the raft in the pool and I would get cramps in my left foot, which was really strange. The boxing name is Boilermaker Bill. Well, I like the boxing more than I do all the workouts, the cardio stuff. I, I tend to get lightheaded and dizzy when I do some of the stuff where I'm bending over and, and doing that. So sometimes I even have to sit those out because I get so lightheaded I'm afraid I'm going to pass out. I am Gib. My fighting name is Tex Gonzalez. Oh, it's uh, the people here. Uh, Jordan pushes us hard. I think that's a good thing. If someone's coming into you, you're getting back. You're getting down and back. And also, you are not leaving your arms out saying, yeah, come get me. Right? I said, you're going to work me hard. You're going to work your ass off. Am I allowed to say that? Okay. I said it. My husband drove me to Rocksteady Boxing here and talked to Jordan, and I kept saying, this is stupid, I'm not putting on boxing gloves. But um, Jordan talked to me, Rob insisted, so I signed up. Felt very silly the first few times, but everybody, everyone here is so accepting, um, encouraging, helpful. In the gym, there's a lot of camaraderie and we're all in the same boat, some going faster than the other. We all understand each other's problem. We push each other, support each other. I think the biggest thing to remember with Rocksteady is that it's not contact. They are never getting hit. They're never hitting each other. The only thing that they are ever hitting are the heavy bags. All right, if you were on boxing last round, you should be on the heavy bags. Are we confused? My family, uh, at first they, they, did, they kind of brushed it off a little bit and now they realize that I can't do what I used to do and I think they're a little more sympathetic so um, and I don't want sympathy but I want them to understand I can't do everything dad used to do. But I'm a coach that really focuses on the small 
the small victories. I think that those mean a lot more than a big victory because you have to use stepping stones in order to get to your big goal. So for a woman who's been doing three pounds for two months and all of a sudden she picks up eights and she's able to do it and she's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. You get the confidence boost. Um, so I like small victories. After you have it, you tend to have people say, so-and-so has it and this guy has it, this lady has it. I never thought about it affecting women either, and our class is about 35-40% women. Golly, I can't say enough for Rocksteady. The encouragement, the different exercises that Jordan has us do, they're there for a reason, um, not just to go through a routine. The fact that you live with Parkinson's disease, you don't, you don't die of it. I mean, you do die of it, but that's not your focus. It's not like cancer or something like that where it's going to eat me up, you know, and how long do I have to live? People live with this thing for years, decades. So I say to people who have the disease, I say don't waste your time feeling sorry for yourself because you've got a lot to do and there's a lot you can do. So I think what Parkinson's people so often say, like in the media and whatnot, that they're suffering. Parkinson's clients aren't necessarily suffering. Sure, I'm sure some people are suffering, but I think it's important to say that they're fighters. No matter the season, no matter the season, no matter the reason, no matter the reason, we all feel better. know that when my boxers step into this room, they work hard and they put it all out on the floor and they're sweating and they're not suffering here. They're, um, they're fighting.